What's up guys? Takedown here with another story time video for you. This is episode 3. This is where you guys get to see a little bit more of my wild side. The first one, first story time video I um, talked about when I wrote raps and got made fun of and a little bit bullied by it. Second one, you guys hear me talking about making wine in high school, which was 100% real, no bullshit, no lies there. And that's what this whole series is going to be. Memories, stuff I did in high school with me and my friends. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, this video, do not try at home. Do not attempt the stuff we did. We were idiots, but we enjoyed what we did. And if I had the chance to do it again, I really would. Because it's not as bad as it sounds, but still pretty freaking bad. So this, as the title may sound funny is 100% true. This all happened in high school. And it's actually a timeline a timeline of events. So let's just get right into it. So with my high school, there was the first semester and second semester. First semester went until uh was it February or something like that? Second semester went until summer. So summer um the end of the semester there's always an exam week. And with it being summer, uh, the beach is so close to our school. It's like a 20, 30 minute walk, depending on how slow you are. <laughs> and me and my friends, the first year of grade nine, we just wanted to get the hell away from school early. And that's what we did. We didn't, if we didn't have an exam, we didn't go to school. Ninth or 10th, 11th and 12th grade, we, meaning my friend group, um, all of my close friends, and there's a few of us at least, we would go to the beach for exam week. And it would be our uh, year-end bash, I guess you'd call it, where we'd all get together outside of school because we didn't really live close. We didn't have means of transportation. We couldn't go and see each other over the summer as much as we would like. So this would be our final goodbye for the summer uh, before we came back the next year. And we enjoyed doing it. We loved doing it. And we did some crazy shit. And that's what this video is about. So, um, even if we had an exam, after the exam we would go to the beach. Or uh, before the exam we would go. Most of the time I didn't have many exams in high school. And that's not by choice. But a lot of the times I, when I got into a class, there was projects to end it. Not necessarily an exam. So that got me more chance at the beach than anything. So to start off in the 10th grade, our beach, end of the year, uh, exam week, our beach, where we went to the beach. Wow, that sounded dumb. We went and we actually had spikes. And me, me and one of my friends, everybody else was just swimming regularly. And me and my one friend decided, we're going spearfishing. I brought us uh, scuba masks, um, snorkel masks without the snorkel. And we had these rods. And we're going spearfishing. And I don't remember how we sharpened the tip, but the tip was sharp. And these rods are heavy. I don't know where we where he got them, but they were heavy. And we sharpened them somehow. I can't even remember that. But just put this in this perspective. We're in the water. If I let go of this rod, it's going because it's heavy. It, it, would, it would go right through my foot instantly. Do not try this at home. But anyways, the pier or the, the dock at the beach. It's a clear beach, the sands, they always clean it. It's the nicest beach around. And literally it's like a, a square going around the beach. So we would swim along the edges, trying to spear fish. We did that all day for a day and a half. And then I gave up. I'm like, this is boring. I just want to swim with my friends. I'm not going to try to get fish because we didn't catch anything. And I mean, it's the wrong stuff to use. You don't use heavy spear fish. It's like, that's not going to go through the water, right? But that's what we did. And that's semi-dangerous compared to the other stuff that's coming soon. <clears throat> so the next year, going into the 11th grade, we went back, our exam week, um, as we started doing it, it became a tradition with me and my friends more than anything. And we'd always invite other people outside our friends groups to make it a big friend group. The second week, even though we'd swim, one day me and the same friend that went spearfishing the year before decided uh, because the golf course is right close to us and there is a current that goes around the little 
pier thing, or not pier, golf, I guess you'd call it, I don't know. Anyways, we decided we're going to try to go along that beach shore in the water as we could, holding onto the rocks and that, and it was extreme at some times, literally. We almost got pulled out to the St. Lawrence River, um, which is right along us. And if we would have, because that Kurt was strong there, we would have been, sadly, we would have been gone. We would have been swept away almost instantly. That didn't happen, unfortunately, because that would be a great story to tell. But uh, I remember we're going along, and we're just, I'm just looking for shells, because I was fascinated with stuff. I like collecting stuff, so I was looking for shells, and I don't have them, and I, I didn't really keep them after that day, but I'm just looking, and we're just moving along, holding onto the rocks as we're going, and we're just having a blast, and then we just kept going and going and going, and then we'd find these crayfish? I think that's that's what we started finding, we started trying to catch crayfish, and well, that didn't work out, and then uh, we kept going kept going kept going and then we're like screaming we're like fuck that current's strong so we tried to backtrack we couldn't the current had us so we're like shit what do we do we don't have socks on our feet we don't have shoes we don't have any protection for our feet these rocks are sharp we decided to climb up the side of the rocks go into the golf course and i don't even remember how we did it but we were our adrenaline was pumping because we could have been swept away, and that could have been really bad. We managed to get up on the beach, and we swam, I think, the rest of the day. Or maybe we were too terrified. I can't even remember what happened after that. But that's what happened that year. In the final year, we went picnic table surfing. Actually, I think, to be brutally on or to be honest with you, not brutally honest, I think we started that in the, ninth, or, uh, the 10th or 11th grade, but... I'm just going to say it happened in the 12th grade because I can't honestly remember. So what we did the first, I think we did it two years. <clears throat> we took picnic tables, walked them up, um, and threw them into the water. Like walked them up the, uh, I can't even know, I don't even know what they're called right now. I'm losing it. But we walked them up and we tossed them in. Then we would surf them literally in the water. We would try to stay on the longest and... That was really fun. Some people got injured. Some people got squashed. Some people the, it landed on their foot. And it was fun at the time. But the scariest moment is whenever a teacher, I guess, got called, even though it's our last year at this point. Um, I know we did it the year before. But a teacher got called, and they told us to take that out. And we're sitting there thinking, number one, lady, we're not causing any harm. We always put the picnic table back. We thought we weren't doing anything wrong, but in reality we were. And I don't recommend picnic table surfing, but if you want to try it, go right ahead. It's amazing. It's fun. It's a great experience. Um, if you have enough people doing it, we even had at times people holding down each side. And then two people would get up on the picnic table and kind of wrestle. And you, the water would be like a foot over the top of the picnic table. And you guys would just try to see who you can knock off. It's like sumo wrestling. If you knock somebody off, then it's the next person's turn. And we just we just had fun. We always created something fun at the beach. And that's what we like to do. But a lot of the stuff I don't recommend because it's extremely dangerous. Or it could have been. But we did it because we were young and stupid. And to this day, I would say I'm still stupid. Because I would go back and do it all again. But I'm going to leave this video here. I hope you guys did enjoy. And if you did, please... Give it a thumbs up because I'm going to make more of these type videos, story time videos. I don't know what I'm doing next. I know the last two I stated what the next one's going to be. I don't know where I'm going next. If the first three story time videos get enough views, the fourth one is going to be me talking about some illegal stuff we did in high school. No, not drugs. No bodily harm. Bodily harm. No, we never killed anybody, even though that'd be a great story. But... More for the, I'll just announce it here. I don't know if I'll remember it to tell you it, or it might be a one way in the future, but we tried to pick locks and we actually had a contest to see who can make and create something in auto shop 
to pick a lock. But I'll leave that here. That's just a little bit of a spoiler for a future one. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.